Hi everybody, this is Pierre. And this is Laurel from Blue Walks on the Run. Welcome to our channel. Can you believe we did this? Did what? Started the channel, first of all. Secondly, yeah. full-time RV living. The life of the full-time RVers. We're hoping to be able to share with people our life experience and our moves and the things that we've done in life, the things we like, because we've got little ones up north that Laurel wants to connect with us because we live so far away, so they always try to know what, where, what we're doing. Our grandkids, they are YouTube followers. They follow a lot of people on YouTube, and they told us that they thought we should start one because they wanted to watch Bampy and Gigi and see where we're going. I mean, we do a lot of things. We're in Arizona, we're in Utah, uh, Utah, Moab, it's amazing. We live in Florida, we travel to South Carolina, up the East Coast to Jersey, um, New England, and this is all the different travels that they can see and watch and so can everybody else because we're also Jeepers. So we love Jeeping and we do a lot of things on the beach. We go to Jeep Beach Festival. So we do a lot of fun things, I think, in our daily lives as well as working. So we also are inspectors as a Blue Ox RV inspection. You'll check the website below, we'll put it down there. So we travel all over the place when we're not seasonal down here attached down south and uh, that's what we do for a living. We do RV inspections. Beautiful sharing thoughts and feelings with other people that are getting either part part timers instead of full timers. Most oh, timers. Most timers. Our business allows us to give our customers peace of mind with the inspections that we do. So that's what's nice because we love this industry and we've always loved camping. We love to see new people starting or people that have been in it forever, but it gives them peace of mind in what we do. And we're really proud of the inspections that we actually put out. So that's those are the things that we wanted to share with people. Different upgrades that we did ourselves to our own unit and other people we've seen. This guy is a handyman. And I'm telling you, if somebody hasn't thought of it, he will think of it. We've had several RVs, but when we started full time, it was a class C. And he did a lot of upgrades that made this small space living a lot of fun. But now we have our fifth wheel and he has a lot of upgrades to share with all of you. As a full-timer, the advantage is try to think of other things that manufacturers don't. So those are the kind of things we're thinking of sharing on this channel from walkthroughs that Laurel takes when we go to dealerships or we attend to camper shows that we go through across the nation. That was always something we did as a pastime anyways. On a rainy day, no matter what state we were in, whether we were in Flagstaff, Arizona or Wyndham, Maine, Pierre would say, hey, what do you want to do today? And we'd take off and go to an RV dealership just to go and sit and walk through all the different campers. We love that. But the so, other thing is campground reviews. So we've been to a lot of campgrounds. We have a couple of campgrounds in mind that it's really hard to beat. So we're going to enjoy doing some reviews of the campgrounds that we go to in different states and hope that you're going to enjoy seeing the reviews and maybe even pop into one of those campgrounds yourself one day. So just to give you a glimpse of what and who my wife makes us do sometime, we had a boring time a couple of years ago, as you all know, from COVID being stuck at home, which was actually a trigger to go full time. And uh, I loved quarantine. I loved quarantining with. But this you'll guy. know why she likes quarantining. So just to give you a little idea, we're going to give you a glimpse of of uh, what she made us do, and you tell us on the other side what you think of it. Hey guys, three minute banana bread muffin recipe. So here we go. First of all, you need to have. Oh wait, I'm thinking a banana. One banana today, and it's nice and ripe. You wanna get the blackest banana you've got. Now, typically, I mean, typ typically we use two bananas, but you know, in this situation, we're only gonna use one. You wanna really, really make sure that it's ripe, feeling it over, and then you're going to peel the banana. So get your banana in the bowl, and then you wanna really mash it up. Mash that banana up. You got any you can use your hands. This is a masher. Okay. So mash, add your butter. You wanna there it is, right over there, little bit to the right. You got it. Pour that right into your bowl. Nice and slow. Look at all that melted butter right there. Cabot butter from Vermont Creamery. I'm just telling you, that is the best. 
butter that you'll ever have. Next, you want to add um, an egg. So you want to crack your egg and try not to get, you know, um, there you, there's the egg. Yes, we want to crack that egg. Try not to get the shells in there. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to, well, oops, I got a little bit on my shirt. I need to brush my shirt off, off a little. Whoops. Yeah, it's not really coming off. That's all right. Forget it. Uh, my glasses are falling. I should probably push my glasses up. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> little itch on my nose. Look at that muffin mix. It is fantastic. Now, if you're thirsty, well, you better have a little bit of, just in case you be the bro. Mm. Mm. I mean, after all, you are quarantined, so who cares? Just make your banana bread and drink some rum. But the best part about this is you got to add cinnamon. Cinnamon makes everything taste better. Never eat cinnamon directly off from a tablespoon. <laughs> and, but the more cinnamon, <laughs> I'm going to sneeze. Woo, that went up my nostrils. Wow, the more cinnamon, the better. Now, you want to really mix that in. And you want it to be really brown. Yep, it, you might need to add a little bit more cinnamon to this um, because that's going to make it taste much better. <laughs> wow, that is the way to do it. I'm telling you what, that's going to be the best. Whiskin is what's really going to blend all your ingredients. You've got to get it in there. I think I got a little bit on my nose again. Whew, but... <laughs> Yep, Whew. had to get that off. My mother always said I couldn't lick my fingers when I was cooking. Well, guess what, Mom? I'm going to lick my fingers while I'm making banana bread today. And it's flipping yummy. Wow. Enjoy your quarantine. Quarantine. I think I have too much rum. Quarantine. Three-minute quick banana bread. Have a great day. Was that fun? You think they're still watching? Did... Did you not have fun doing that? It was, was that it the was, best was banana bread you've ever had? I don't know. I didn't get to taste it. You didn't? <laughs> I got to taste it. It was the best banana bread. So I hope you guys had fun. That's a little bit who we are, what we are. And hopefully you'll be able to chime in and join us on our venture. We really do enjoy um, our life living full time in the RV. And if you're enjoying following along with us and enjoying what you're seeing so far, we invite you to hit the subscribe button and like us and um, follow us, I guess. So always remember and do never forget, it's not about the destination. It's all about the journey.